What's up guys, it's Anders here for Audio Plugin Deals. And today we're looking at the new bundle from WA Productions. They've done this amazing Royal Plugins bundle that's at ridiculous value and comes with some super useful tools for your music production. So let's have a look inside the DAW and see what we can do with these tools to help make better music. Okay, so let's have a look at the awesome plugins that we get in this bundle from WA. One of the first things I want to look at is the synth that comes in here. So on this track, I'm going to use the synth to make another layer to this intro section here. I'm a road man, a public enemy. Guns for hire, fire, movie lead the military. We're going to use the same notes uh, as what's in the intro section right at the start, I think. Uh, adrenaline. So let's make ourselves a new channel and get that on there. So it's called Imperfect. This is quite simply how it looks. By default, it starts off in a really simple saw wave. It's got a nice oscillator in the middle, so you can always see what's going on. Let's get the melody in there. So it's super easy to dial in and it makes sense in terms of programming. We've got our two oscillators on the left and then everything flows from left to right. So if we wanted to just like dial it down, for example, we could just drop one octave. Just below the two oscillators, we've also got a sampler built in. You just click on load file and you can load in any sample. Want to change the waveform? We can just change that by adjusting the control here. And it blends between the different ones. We don't just get the solid waveforms, we get a merge between them as well. Check it out. And we've got our classic detune, pulse width, and everything else. There's a whole bunch of presets that come with it as well. So we could grab something in there. Let's see what we've got in leads and have a quick flick through. I kind of like this, it might work at the start for us. Make use of the cut off filter just to dial it back a bit. That's it, it's all right in the backing there. What I then want to do is bring it in again later in the song. So we've got this section here that's just got the bass and some vocals. We could maybe put the melody in there too. But this time we want to maybe open up that cutoff filter a little bit. So let's give it just a touch of automation so we can do that. <laughs> That's working quite well for us. Obviously a bit loud in the mix, so let's dial it back a touch. And that just took a minute or two just to add an extra little something there, just using one of the presets, which we could then tweak to really sit in the track. Like I said, there's hundreds of presets as well. We only went through a couple of leads. There's many, many more in here, a few hundred at least for you to check out. All right, so that's just one of the awesome tools you get in this bundle. We're going to use another one of them now to make this patch really feel like it's our own. And it's a plugin effect called Venom. So Venom's a set of different effects that 
all run in parallel and you can completely reorder them. So you can see we've got dampening, decay, freeze, focus, mirror, pitch and slope, um, but they're not fixed in that order and they're not fixed in their settings either. You can completely rearrange them. If I grab decay, I can put it at the end of the chain here, for example. And when we play a sound into this, listen to how different this lead is now. So it was like this. We've done this to it. It's giving it its own space and all kinds of feel to it. It's really simple to work this plugin. We simply click on the effect type we're after. We can switch it on. Switch it on and engage it by clicking on it so it's highlighted. And then its icon here, we just switch it on. So freeze is now engaged as well and focus as well. And they've simply got a dial control of how much you want it to affect the signal. Again, there's a whole bunch of presets in here. Um, this one's super cool, the pitch up option. All it's doing is using the decay uh, based on time of five seconds. We can bring it back, so it's much quicker. Uh, and then pitching up by one octave, super cool. We then introduce a mirror in that as well. And make some crazy tones. So we've now really changed the feel of that. Does it work in the track? Let's find out. Yeah, it kind of does. getting a bit wild now though so we can control it a bit more from there using another one of the plugins and what we have is pumper 2 and pumper 2 is essentially a nice compressor saturator plugin that also handles a bit of stereo image so the pumper 2 is a compressor saturator and stereo imager all built into one it's designed to be really easy to get everything working correctly, but you can actually dive a little bit deeper with it as well. Let's just break down really quickly how it works. The top section here is a visual representation of what's going on with your audio. So we play it, and we'll be able to see the lead audio. And we can see how it's being compressed with the slightly lighter version of the audio passing through. Now, the compressor is controlled quite simply via the control here, it goes from zero to 100%. If we click on the arrow, however, we've got some variations in it and there's some different modes uh, and way of detection as well. So we've got punchy, fat, clean, and soft. These change how the compressor works, how it sounds and how it feels. Think of it as like different compressor emulations all hidden inside here. We've then got an RMS, which is a root means squared. It's a different type of detection for a compressor rather than the signal going past a certain and peak has to go past a certain average level before it starts compressing. We can dial that in with a percentage really nicely in there. We've then also got the ability to make it a parallel compressor so we can have some of the original signal and some of the really compressed signal going through by using the mix control just here. This is just hidden inside there. Then we just dial in how much compression we need with this control. Super easy way to work. So let's turn the other two off real quick and just compress and control this lead a bit more because it's a bit wobbly after we added Venom. Just control the threshold up here, look. Can take it right down. That's 6 dB there, it's giving us some, enough control. Let's try the fat mode. All right, let's see if the saturator can help us out. saturated we've got some different modes as well we could hard clip Not too much to style that back yeah, it's making it a bit harsher let's try it in the mix I like it all right and the last thing stereo imager it's quite wide already let's see if we can really push it and again we've got some different mode types we can low shelve it instead and we've got a frequency control here 
high shelf work better. We can put resonance on the filter if we need it. Let's try it in the mix. Switch it off. So look at that, it basically disappears now. Check this out. There you go. So using Imperfect, Venom and Pumper, we've created this whole new lead just to sit in our track and add a bit of extra life to it in just a couple of seconds. And that's just three of the tools that you get inside this bundle. There's a couple of others. So we're just going to have a quick look on the drum break here. We've got Puncher, which is for me really geared towards drums and getting that kind of right drum sound really easily. We've got a transient designer, a multi band compressor, and then some parabell and then parallel compression right after it as well. And much like with Pumper 2, we've got pretty much the same controls. We can dial it in here, and if we tap on the arrows, we can, we can commit to all of our individual settings. So I want the transients to really punch through in this break, but I'm then going to compress it down as well and give it some parallel compression. So we still keep those snappy transients. Listen to the difference just by pushing the transient shaper. Definitely need to gauge this back just a little bit on the output and we need to take the transients back slightly as well, but it's really nice and punchy. settings here, they're working pretty good. Let's try it and mix 100%. Need to gauge that back just a bit. Multiband, we're going to bring that back quite a bit. And here we can select different bands. Their frequency points are across the top. So band one. We're really controlling the low end here. I'm going to bring it up a bit to the snare area. I want the attack to be a little bit slower and the release to be quite a bit slower. Listen to how much we could boost it if we wanted. It could be great for an effect. That balance feels quite nice. Let's check it in terms of the track. It's a bit much, so we just gauge the whole thing back a bit. how much our drums pop out now when we bring it back. Cool, and there's one more tool inside this bundle that we can check out. That is the Mutant Delay. It's a very interesting delay plugin. Um, it's a synced delay with a mix control and an independent left and right, as well as a feedback push into it as well. And we've got a high pass and low pass filter. And what's kind of cool here is we can mute the source. We just have the delay. But we can have it with the delay in. We can have it with the original sound in as well, like this. So check that out. So you could completely take away the original sound and just have the, the mutated effect afterwards. It's a really cool option to include in there. We've then got the internal Ducker control, which means the delay sounds not going to get in the way of other things. So we can delay it so we can duck it with some specific timings. We can have a little bit of attack on that as well. Um, for example, if we were to put it to zero and we'll just listen to the delay. Okay, now if we bring the ducking in, 
see how it ducks. Really useful, just helping it keep control. And the ratio is how frequent that happens. And it's synced to your BPM of your DAW. Yeah? Super useful thing to include in there. It saves you having to then side chain your delay as well. Um, having the sides independent as well is really useful. You can change them between like synced or triplets or dotted. Because they're independent, we can do things like this. Gives us a really cool transition effect right at the start of our track. That, guys, are the awesome group of plugins that you get in this WA Productions Royal Bundle. Um, don't forget to check it out now on Audio Plugin Deals. It's discounted to the point that literally for the price of one of these plugins, you get them all bundled together. So it's well worth your time. I hope the video was helpful for you guys. I do look forward to seeing you on the next one. Music